Oh YouTube fans, here again. I think I might as well do this one, that being Man Myself 4. That's right, Man Myself 4. What can I say about it? Man Myself 4 had to be one of the most censored out of the Man Myself films. Now there have been scenes that have been cut out of every Man Myself film, you know. Every scene that has been cut out, but this one had to be the epidemic one. Now, I first saw Man Myself 4 back in its day, back on Star TV, and I never knew, I never knew for this that it was FD Cut. It was FD Cut. I once saw it, I think it was on a foreign channel and it was on Star TV, and I thought, whoa, what's this? This is more watching when I saw it last time, and that was Man Myself 4. Um, the one I've got is on DVD, it's now the uncut one, or as they say, fading the uncut, because believe it or not, I think there was an hard corn version of Man Myself 4. That's why there was an hard corn version where they used porn stars in the hard corn porn business and they covered it over and made it a little bit more harder. But finding that now, you could probably find it on adult sites, but that's as close as you'd probably find it. Though so the one I've got, which has to be the most uncut one, is Man Myself 4. Now, this is a confusing one. It's a confusing one because at the time, Silver Tistle, as we all know, said, Bye bye to Man Myself and goodbye Man Myself. But this is a step up. It's a step up. Because it's a confusing one because it starts off with you saw your bits and bobs from all the Man Myself films. It's all the tireless of Silver Tisto, not just in Man Myself, but other films she did, like Lady Tatter's Lover and so on. You've got a bit of music. Oh the man myself. I'm not gonna do the rest. And but it's a confusing one because in the film it mentions the name being Sylvia Tistel, obviously the actress' name Sylvia Tistel. Never once been mentioned her as being Man myself. And it starts off with she sees a, a I think it's could be her ex boyfriend or something, and she runs off and she sees his past its surgeon. Very out over the top story this one, and it's all about this new way of making her look different, which is funny because. It's funny because Sylvia Tistel wasn't that old when the film was being made. She wasn't that old. So she wasn't really that old when this film came out, is what I'm getting at. She wasn't that old. Things like right, she was only about 32. It mentions her age in the film as of being 32. I think 32 isn't really that old. Come on. But it mentions her wanting to change her look because she wants to get away from her boyfriend. So it really is an over-the-top story in this one. It really is over-the-top. So she gets this new body, it's all past it, all over, a bit science fiction for my liking, uncovers her, and that's when you get to see a new a new star as Man Myself. A new star, so Sylvia Tister isn't in it really that long. I can name every scene in it. She made she's in this fancy restaurant and she's looking at all the women because they're longer than her, which I thought was laughable because she wasn't that old. A scene where she's in a taxi, a scene where she sees a plastic surgeon, and then the scene then that's it really, that's it, that is the only bits you see of Silver Tistel in the Man Myself film. Now I do know you get a well known mogul that takes the role, doesn't do a bad job but she just bits where she just tried to imitate Silver Tistel, you know in her, in her actions and how she acts this. And compared to the ones after I can watch this, I can watch this, I can watch it as a time waster. In all fair said and done I can watch this one as a time waster because the others afterwards suck they suck ass <laughs> and that's putting it nicely so this one it's definitely a step up from goodbye man myself but story wise you can definitely see that it was going over the top at this point story <laughs> what fucking story i feel that there's bits in it where it feels like it's in a pop video it really does feel like a pop video i'm expecting to see band old band barry it's in the theme do do or fucking Tiran Tiran because it's definitely got into the early 80s at this point. Even though the film came out in 1984, it is actually in 1983, and there's bits in it where you keep seeing the month and you keep seeing 1983 stuffed in your face. You can make a drinking jam out of it. So she's got a new form, she's got a new body, and so on. There's a bit where she's in a night. Up and she's dying on when he's died, basically being a dick tease because the guy says you're a virgin and slaps her, don't know why. And so on, there's a bit in the, in the night club, there's a bit of a lesbian scene, but he wants to see that sort of, and um, so on. And like me by the uncut one, there's a bit where there's this couple and they're doing it in the rain, 
Um, on the cut one, it was raunchy, but on the uncut one, it's definitely a lot more raunchier. There's a bit of a snake. I'm not making this up. A snake. Um, in the snake one, then it was cut down. You see a lot but on the uncut one, a lot more raunchier. The one scene I do remember, there's a scene where you've got a dang. There's no sets in this bit. They've got a dang, and they're chasing this lad. He gets tapped across a wall. That, then it cuts to another scene. On the uncut one, he gets stuck across the wall, and these dang lads pull out big knives. And you've got the idea he's going to get killed. You don't see it. It's off steam. You've got the idea he's going to get knifed and going to get murdered. So I think in 1983, there was a lot of scenes with thick knives. So in that era, there was a, if you remember the Michael Taxon music video, Beat It, there was a scene in that that had a thick knife scene, but was cut down and cut out. Now you can see that uncut. So for some reason, a lot of scenes in 1983 always had the famous thick knife. But it's not a bad bad on this. There's a bit where she's doing it. She's in a field. I think it was in a field. In, yeah, it was in like the... You know, Near A, where you got horses, they're doing it in A, and she's doing it there. There's, so it's definitely a lot more raunchy, definitely a lot more meat to the feds than dubbed by man myself. To me, this was more dubbed by man myself, but to my buy that silver pistol was the same character as she was in man myself one, man myself two, and Goodbye, by man myself. No, I don't buy she was the same character. She was a total different character. He even mentions the scene where a guy is going in a nightclub and he's in Rio and he's looking for her and he mentions Silver Tistle. I think it's Silver Tistle. So Silver Tistle does appear in it, but I've heard rumours, I've heard rumours that she did this because she needed that. She needed that, you know, she did a, a movie career at that time, it's dying down a bit, even though two years before this, she did Lady Tatterdy's Luffer, she did a few sets, comedies and so on, the career was going down a bit, so it's like, well, what can I toss in? Oh, I used to do the Man Myself films, and they decided to bring them back into the 80s, this definitely was an 80s Man Myself, you know, and there's a scene where you've got this beautiful woman in the jungle, and then and again, a bit of a lesbian scene, and you've got the bit with the snake. Now, on the cut one, you got the woman holding the snake. On the uncut one, there's a bit where she's masturbating with a snake on top of her. That's me putting it nicely, without doing the rest. On the hard corn scene, there's a lot more in it. I've seen the hard corn scene. I know it is. The hard corn porn stars, the standings. Stuff kind of like they did in Batman myself. There was an hard corn version of that. All they did was just use cutaways of an hard corn porn and they spiced it in just to make it a bit more exciting so they sort of did that with man myself 4 that's what i mean by man myself 4 has to be the most censored one out of the man myself films but story wise it's definitely over the top the boyfriend of man myself you might think i've seen him before seen him before two days after he did this he appeared as one of the villains in one of the bond films that being food to a kill that's right, Food to a Kill. Same year he was doing Food to a Kill, he did another film, Dorothy Daros. Remember that director I talked about? He did a film called Cheapus. They played the main character in that. A lot of people might remember him as the villain in A Food to a Kill, the one who worked for Christopher Walken. Well, funny enough, he's in Man Myself 4. He's in Man Myself 4. Oh, he's not doing a bad job. I prefer the actor that played her husband. But he's not doing a bad job for what he's been told to do so he's in the night so there's doing it here there's bonking here there's bonking everywhere she meets him at the end she tells him about all the exciting offences she's had in the words bonking after a few less there's a lot of lesbian scenes in it a lot of bonking in it again she meets her, 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 bo her boyfriend she meets his boy her boyfriend in this it made me funny well why did you make yourself look different Basically, it was their way of saying goodbye to Silver and Tista. We're proper goodbye this time. And they got an idea every time they make a man myself film, it's going to be a different star pay, you know. So the film never really rubbed off that well. Like I say, it came out in 84, but really it came out in 1983. So it was a bit of 1983, a bit of 1984. And it ends with that song again. You, the man myself. And then it ends... A path with the face, it's all silver tissue on the upper face. Basically, the end of movie. Again, it's not a bad one. If you're going into it for a story, you're going to be disappointed. It's really over the top, you know, starting to look different and all that. 
uh, but if you're going into it for bonking and you want to see it more uncut go for it now on dvd the dulcest you will see is the one i've got the hardcore one best of luck it's very hard to get hold off but if you're just going into it for an overstock store you're going in for it for bonking you're definitely going to get it into them that's man myself four do some more movies some more movie reviews on the way into them be smart be safe and i'll see you soon